Hello friends, multi conceptual questions are very much favorite for any competitive examination, but students find it slightly difficult. So in this video, I have come up with six most important and most expected multi conceptual questions on the topic differential calculus. So if you watch entire video, you will be able to tackle, you will get the confidence for tackling such multi conceptual questions so here is the first question a function is given to us which is a uh, 30 minus 2x minus x cube and they're asking us what the number of positive integral values of x which satisfies this inequality now how do we tackle this inequality type of questions whenever there is inequality and composition of function is given how do we tackle i want you to observe each and every step very very carefully so first thing i want you to observe this function by finding its derivative so if i find out its derivative it is going to be minus 2 minus 3x square which is negative of 3x square plus 2 overall this particular quantity is positive and that gets multiplied by negative sign that means the derivative of this function is negative less than zero if the derivative of function is negative less than zero we can say that this particular function f is strictly decreasing function now if it is strictly decreasing what is the property of strictly decreasing function if if you say input x1 is greater than input x2 then the value of function at x1 will be less than the value of function at x2 this is a property of decreasing function or I may say if the input x1 is less than input x2 then the function value at this input x1 will be greater than function value at this input x2. So this is first step towards tackling questions involving inequality and composition of function. Now let us focus on this given inequality of composition of function f of f of fx greater than f of f of minus x. Now look at this outside function f. We understand that this function f is strictly decreasing function. If the function is strictly decreasing, look at this input. Value of function at this input is greater than value of function at that input this implies the first input f of f of x will be lesser than this second input f of minus x using this statement in reverse once again focus this outside function f this function f is strictly decreasing and the value of this function at this input is less than the value of function at this input so what can we say about these inputs this input f of x will be greater than this input minus x and what is f of x it is given to be 30 minus 2x minus x cube greater than minus x let us rearrange it we are going to get x cube plus x minus 30 less than 0 now we can factorize this using trial and hit method one of the factor is x minus 3 and inside that we are going to get x square plus 3x plus 10 less than 0. I want you to observe this quadratic. The leading coefficient of this quadratic is positive and discriminant if you find a discriminant value b square minus 4ac is negative. So graph of this quadratic will be smiling parabola above x-axis that means this entire quadratic expression this entire quadratic expression is positive if this entire quadratic expression is positive then there is no other option but to make this x minus 3 less than 0 and therefore we conclude x is less than 3 now when i say x is less than 3 it can be 2 1 0 minus 1 and so on but what the question is asking if you see number of positive 
integral values of x which satisfies this so is this x less than 3 so it will be just one value and two values so the number of positive integral values of x satisfying this inequality is 2 so so many concepts were used in this one single question right about the strictly decreasing function its properties and uh, then how we tackle uh, uh, inequality involving composition of function and then uh, how the quadratic expression was involved such multi conceptual questions you can expect in your upcoming competitive exam let us now dive on to second